Right, first thing I'm going to do on these braces is I'm going to pre-drill and countersink for the screws for when I screw these cabinets together. And I just want to talk you through my method of how I lay out my screw holes. So this board is four inches wide. And I'm just going to put two screws in here. So I'm going to want a screw here and a screw here across the width of the board. Now this one's quite easy because I've got a quarter, half of the board, and a quarter is the spacing. So it's simply I've got one inch here, two inch in between the screws and one inch here. Nice and easy to lay out. When it comes to the five inch board, I'm gonna to wanna to put three screws in here. So I'm gonna want one in the middle, I'm gonna want one near the edge and one near this edge. Now we've got one whole space, one whole space and two halves. So I've got to divide the board in three. This is a five inch board divided by three gives me one and two thirds. So I need an inch and two thirds here. I need an inch and two thirds here. And then I need half of that amount again. So I need half an inch plus two six or half an inch is three six. So that's five six. So this needs to be five six. This needs to be five six. And that's how I lay out my screws. If I've got a whole load of braces to mark like I have here, I take a scrap of wood, cut it to the same width as the brace and put the markings for my screw holes onto the scrap of wood. I do the same for the four inch braces and then I can just quite simply just offer this up to the board and transfer my marks to each board really quickly. I've got the drill press set up to do the bilet holes for the screws. In the drill press I've got a combined three millimeter drill bit and countersink which will drill the hole and countersink at the same time i've got a sacrificial bit of wood clamped to the table of the drill press just so i don't drill into the drill press table all of the braces front and back are now drilled and countersunk ready for the screws so time for some assembly the final stage before assembling the cabinets is to router a dado in the side panels to accept the back. I'm going to use a 6mm router bit and as this is 18mm boards I'm going to go 6mm deep so I'm going to go a third of the way through the board. Typically the hardboard I'm using for the back panels is only 4mm thick so it'll have a little bit of float but that's okay I want the back panel to be fairly loose and then I'll attach it to the back brace. I'll also attach it to the bottom of the cabinet and then that will be sufficient to add the a lot of strength to the cabinet. So over here on the router table, I've got set up a 6mm router, straight cutting router bit. I've made sure that my fence is positioned exactly 18mm away from the back edge of the router bit. And I've also, with the depth gauge set to 6mm, I've made sure that the router bit is 6mm above the top of the table and I'm now going to run the pieces through the router table. I've just run the first side panel through the router table, I've routed out the 6mm dado and then I stopped short of going all the way through because I don't want to take too much of the thickness away at this point because that's where I'm going to attach the back brace. I've just run it through enough so that I can actually attach the back to the brace once I've slid the back into position. But we'll see that later on. Right, we're starting the assembly of the cabinets now. What I've got set up on the bench here, I've got a couple of big blocks just to keep, the, keep it square. I've clamped a small piece of scrap up against the side panel to use as a clamping block to clamp the brace to. Now that I've got this all clamped up I'm just going to check with my framing square that the cabinet is all square. This looks good and also that it's square to my table before I screw this joint together. 
I'm going to pre-drill with a 3mm drill bit and then I'm going to drive some 2 inch number 10 screws through these three holes. The first of the carcasses is assembled. See the top brace, the rear brace which obviously gives the cabinet loads of stability in terms of racking. It's obviously got to have the shelf put in it and the centre support which the doors will close against. I'm planning to rip down a 2x4 in half to make a post for the middle and I'll do that tomorrow. 